Introducing OSFOS, a stride forward from the innovators in equine health. OSFOS contains the bisphosphonate clodronic acid and is a solution for injection, which is easy to administer and well tolerated in clinical trials. OSFOS gives clinical improvement up to six months post-treatment and is the only licensed intramuscular product for alleviation of clinical forelimb lameness associated with the bone resorptive processes of the navicular bone in adult horses. OSFOS solution for injection contains the bisphosphonate clodronic acid and is administered intramuscularly. It enters the bloodstream and circulates throughout the body, bonding with the mineral part of the bone. Clodronic acid has a strong affinity for calcium phosphate. It is therefore rapidly cleared from the blood and incorporated predominantly into bone tissue. Preferential accumulation occurs in the areas where bone metabolism is most active, such as a diseased navicular bone. When an osteoclast comes into contact with the coated mineral of the navicular bone and begins the resorption process, the bisphosphonate is released, penetrating the osteoclast and inhibiting its activity. Direct effects include decreased acid production and enzyme activity, along with a disruption of the cytoskeleton, leading to a loss of the ruffled border. Bisphosphonates also decrease the number of osteoclasts, by inhibiting recruitment and inducing apoptosis. The result is decreased resorption activity, balancing the bone remodeling process within the navicular bone and reducing mineral loss. In many cases, this in turn alleviates the associated pain, resulting in an improvement in lameness. Navicular syndrome, often called navicular disease, is a condition affecting the navicular bone and surrounding tissues. It often occurs in both front feet and is most typically seen in mature riding horses, with thoroughbreds and warm bloods being more susceptible. If left untreated, it can lead to significant and even disabling lameness, with common manifestations including a shortening of the stride and increased tendency to stumble due to altered foot placement. While the underlying cause of the syndrome is not fully understood, we do know that the metabolism of the navicular bone can be adversely affected. In an adult horse, around 10% of the skeleton is being remodeled at any given time. This is a lifelong process, designed to repair micro damages resulting from mechanical stresses and preserve the integrity and strength of the skeletal system. The first part of this process is called bone resorption, and involves mature bone tissue being removed from the skeleton by a specialized cell called an osteoclast. Once activated, the osteoclasts adhere to the bone surface and a membrane is formed which is called the ruffled border. The osteoclast then secretes an acidic material which erodes the mineral and matrix of the bone, leading to cavities being formed. Resorption ends when apoptosis, programmed cell death, occurs. Next, bone-forming cells called osteoblasts colonize the cavity, multiply and form new bone. They do this by producing a collagenic or osteoid matrix, which is then mineralized to provide it with strength. The new bone surface is then covered by a protective layer of inactive osteoblasts. Navicular syndrome can lead to an imbalance in the bone remodeling process, resulting in excessive bone resorption and or abnormal mineralization. This leads to more of the bone being dissolved than is replaced, leading to mineral loss and a weakening of the bone structure over time. This can lead to imbalance and discomfort due to the pivotal position of the navicular bone. OSFOS is a solution for injection containing 51 mg per milliliter clodronic acid. It comes packaged as a clear 15 milliliter vial which is sufficient to treat one horse. The recommended dosage is 1.53 mg clodronic acid per kilogram of body weight, corresponding to 3 ml per 100 kg, with a maximum of 15 ml per horse. It is administered via intramuscular injection and should be evenly spread over two to three injection sites. Suitable injection sites include the pectoral muscles, 
the center of the lower neck and the gluteal muscles. Intramuscular injection provides a quick and easy route of administration and a full dose can be administered within minutes. If a horse is displaying signs indicative of navicular syndrome, the vet will first conduct a thorough lameness evaluation. This will typically begin with a thorough examination of both front feet and an observation of the horse walking and trotting in straight lines and while lunging on both hard and soft surfaces to evaluate the severity of the condition. The next step will be to confirm the source of the pain by performing a palmar digital nerve block. If the pain is coming from the caudal third of the foot, the horse will usually show significant improvement while trotting in hand and on the lunge after the foot has been desensitized. Radiographs can then be taken to confirm the condition and determine a prognosis. While there are grades of severity, a normal navicular bone should be symmetrical in shape with clear demarcation between the cortex and medulla of the bone. A lack of definition due to abnormal mineralization, the presence of large cyst-like lesions and areas of increased resorption or formation are often seen in diseased navicular bones. If the radiographic examination is inconclusive, scintigraphic or magnetic resonance imaging may be performed to assess metabolic activity and the structure of the bone and surrounding tissues in further detail. Studies showed that horses with navicular syndrome positively respond to treatment with OSFOS. 74.7% of horses showed an improvement of at least one lameness grade by day 56. OSFOS has proven efficacy at six months post-treatment in 65.8% of cases. OSFOS is the only licensed intramuscular product for the alleviation of clinical forelimb lameness associated with the bone resorptive processes of the navicular bone in adult horses. OSFOS was well tolerated in clinical trials, with any recorded side effects such as colic and injection site reaction being mild and transient in nature. While bisphosphonates are effective in alleviating clinical forelimb lameness associated with the bone resorptive processes of the navicular bone, an integrated approach is always recommended when treating conditions involving lameness. Trimming and shoeing can greatly aid in correcting and maintaining foot balance by providing adequate support to the hoof capsule, reducing pressure and relieving pain. Controlled exercise is often prescribed to help manage a horse with navicular syndrome and a light workload can be highly beneficial. It is also possible to gradually shift the weight bearing from the front legs, which are painful, to the hind legs through structured riding work at a trot or canter. In order to facilitate remedial exercise, it may be advisable to issue non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs to relieve pain associated with the condition. They should always be administered at the lowest possible dose required to maintain the horse's comfort. As a last resort, the horse can undergo a surgical procedure, such as a digital neurectomy. This involves cutting the nerves to desensitize the foot. However, it can leave the horse vulnerable to other foot injuries. It should also be noted that this is not a treatment it only eliminates the associated pain, and as such, the disease process may continue inside the hoof, leading to further problems in the future. Your vet will advise you on how best to approach these areas.